Well, don't we look fancy? We're falling for autumn as we kick off the last week of October and leaves start falling and the weather's changing, so it's a good time to uh, try and become the best stewards for nature. Friend of the show, Jackson Hudecki from the Hamilton Naturalist Club, back on the show with a couple of tips to make our planet happy. Good morning, Jackson. Good morning, how do you do? How do you do? Well, I do great. I'm excited to be here, especially to, to finally reveal that during this Halloween week that, um, that, you know, Tim and I go a long ways back and it's finally time to reveal that I'm, I am one of your long lost relatives, Jim Bolin. <laughs> oh, you're um, and so I had, to, I had to bust out the bow tie and the fancy duds to talk about nature today. Look right there on the screen even, Jim yeah. Bolin. Uh, um, so, <laughs> oh, did you change it to Jim? So, so, so Jim and because, I. Because Tim wears a bow tie on Fridays, Jim wears it on Mondays. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm your, your taller, hairier, uh, nature-loving relative. I was and wondering what else we were going to say. That. Yeah, and so I'm here to talk a little bit about. Yeah, go ahead. Dump this out. Dump I'm this here out. to talk about fall and nature and what we can do as, as residents of Hamilton and Niagara, because we're in a really amazing spot for nature. We're in a Carolinian forest zone and what we have around us is is like what's not found in many other places in Ontario and I wanted to bring some currency here this is something that a lot of people get really freaked out about um, well, and you they gotta rake them up and put them in the bags and put them at the end of the drive sure or you can rake them right into your garden and have it become a nice little spot for wildlife to hang out over winter. I brought this sleeping bag here, uh, not to talk about camping, but to make that relation as to this is what wildlife will sleep in over the winter time. Um, and you don't need to rake this up. You don't, you don't need to put it in a bag and put it to the curb. You can just put it right into your garden using a rake or a leaf blower. Look at that. Wow, you rake really quickly. I Yeah, I'm a speed demon when it comes to raking because that's and like it's because it's fall because it's beautiful we want to make sure that we're doing our part so we can enjoy nice scenes like this where wildlife has a spot too because when birds and you know me Timmy boy I'm a big bird nerd uh -huh. I want to make sure that we're providing habitat so when you rake your leaves into your garden all these insects can overwinter there and then migrating birds come through and they will sift through all of these leaves to find some much needed food mm, like a Nelson Sparrow perhaps yes exactly what is a Nelson Sparrow do. So it is, uh, and it is a clip here. So check out this bird. This is this is a really cool, um, hardly seen bird. It's it's very scarce um, and very secretive. And this was seen in Dundas just a, a couple weeks ago. M most people are like, oh, there's a sparrow. There's like over 20 different species of sparrow. And this one here is a really unique one. It was found in Dundas. But what it was doing was sifting through goldenrod. And here in this clip, I was up at Vine Mountain Nature Sanctuary, just showing that the winds of the seasonal change blow Blowing things like the milkweed that you see there and it pans in it and it zooms slowly into goldenrod these plants are so crucial and we brought one here it's kind of tall okay um, what are we doing with this are we cutting this down no, or no? we're not touching this man we're not touching this come on dad taught us better we are gonna leave this all winter long because way up here you know maybe I can oh yeah, tell, yeah bend that down, down there Jim. there we go so so way up here we've got these these fine seeds and this is what the migratory birds are after this is where there's insects crawling up so when they're coming through sorry camera camera person I'm trying to I'll try to stay a little bit there still you go. this is this is essential this is this is fall right here we want to leave this so that when migratory birds are coming through they've got a spot to eat um, they've got something to dine on because they're hungry we, we, um, we, we leave that until the spring yeah just leave it leave it right where it is and let what nature does, what do does producer thing. Tansy have there oh Tansy's just got a little present for us I thought to, cel to celebrate our our, 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 our kinship <laughs> our friendship that would get us a cake of our combined name of Tim and Jim um, which is basically like if you say T-J-I-M if you combine it like right. Jim right. like that's our that's our combined name okay, so there you go. <laughs> Monday morning here at CH Morning Live. Jackson Hudecki here with Tim <laughs> Bolin. Annette, we're happy to be here. Next Saturday, you have a, a Hamilton Naturalist Club has a uh, has a fundraiser. Good Lord, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, we're, there you we're, go. We're hosting a fundraising okay. concert. There you go. November the 9th. We gotta go. There's a mess. To